Hello and welcome to this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. I'm Kevin Auctioner. Thanks for joining us. There's no doubt that one of the most critical factors in your success as a cattleman is your nutrition that you provide for your animals. Sustained nutrition throughout a calf's life can have a tremendous impact on the growth and health of that animal. And as a result, the proper nutrition for calves, cows, stockers and feeders can make all the difference in the profitability of an operation. So today we're going to focus on nutrition with expert insights from our friends at Purina. And joining us today, we have Dr. Ron Scott. He's the director of beef research with Purina Animal Nutrition. Bob Pemberton comes to us from Northern Feed and Bean in Lucerne, Colorado, and deals with producers like me every day. And Dr. Chris Vaccario, he's the manager of beef research for Purina Animal Nutrition. Well, let's begin today, gentlemen, by telling folks just a little bit about who you are and more specifically your responsibilities at Purina. Dr. Scott. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I'm a 21-year veteran of Purina Mills, uh, a native from Indiana. I went to school at Purdue and then Oklahoma State. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate enough uh, when I graduated to join Purina. Mm -hmm. I kind of always wanted to work for Purina, so it worked out well. And uh, my role today is in uh, developing new products and programs uh, for the cattle industry. And I work closely with Dr. Forcario in that endeavor. Very good. Bob, we worked together for a long time. Tell folks a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm the manager of the feed division for Northern Feed and Bean for the last, last 14 years. Mm -hmm. Before that, I uh, worked for Purina Mills for 23 years. Very so, good. and now I try and work with producers like yourself every day. Some of us are more difficult than others, aren't yes, we? Yes, <laughs> they are. <laughs> Dr. Ficario. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, 19 year veteran with uh, Purina, wow. uh, all on the research team with Dr. Scott basically over those years. Uh, uh, similar to Dr. Scott, uh, got two degrees in basically in ruminant nutrition, one from University of Tennessee as well as University mm -hmm. of Missouri. Uh, my, my role is a little different than Ron's. Uh, I take care of more of the day-to-day -day activities at a research farm, uh, kind of management with our unit, unit workers, making sure our research protocols are conducted the way they need to be conducted and mm -hmm. getting builds confidence in our database and how those product products and programs will perform. Uh, at the same time, I also have the ability to work with our sales team mm -hmm. as well as our dealers like Bob mm -hmm. to get that information into their hands so they can get it into your hands who are our customers out in the country okay. and show value. Yeah, and you are a very research-based company. I'm looking forward to having a discussion about some of that research you're doing. These are exciting times for Purina and, and, and Dr. Scott, I'd ask you, I mean, tell us some of the things that are going on at Purina right now. Well, we're, we're very, very excited right now because we have a, a very large endeavor uh, where we're expanding our capabilities at the farm. Mm. Um, and it might be good to kind of go over yesterday, today, and tomorrow for some of our, our viewers that maybe don't know a lot about us. Our, our research facility was established in 1926. Mm. Uh, the company was established in 1894, but in 1926 is when the research farm was purchased. Uh, the first beef study was in 1926. And I looked at it a couple weeks ago. Hmm. Uh, it's really interesting. I bet. Uh, so over those years, uh, we've developed a lot of new innovations in, in the industry. Uh, some of the first ones, Mr. Danforth was very passionate about leadership for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so he uh, established a, a program called I Dare You. Mm -hmm. uh, in the I Dare You program, uh, it was a, a conference for developing kids. Yes. So one of the first products we ever developed as a company were show chows. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was very important because that way we had some communication with, yeah. with the future leaders of, of tomorrow. You bet. So some other types of firsts that we've had uh, is we had the uh, first complete feed for weaning calves, preconditioning mm. receiving chow. Mm -hmm. That was back in 1968. Uh, today mm -hmm. we have a an improvement of that called Precon Complete. Mm -hmm. uh, we've developed some uh, free choice products under our IN, IM technology mm -hmm. uh, uh, platform, if you will. Mm -hmm. So that stands for Intake Modifying oh. Technology, sure. where we have snack eaters. So we've had, had a lot of innovations like that, but we've had those simply because we've had the capabilities to do research and development. Mm -hmm. So we have a, the uh, Animal Nutrition Center Mm -hmm. uh, southwest of, of St. Louis at Grace Summit. Mm -hmm. It's around 1,200 acres. Mm -hmm. And this year, uh, Land of Lakes has confidence uh, in us in that uh, it was decided that we can expand our operation. Mm -hmm. And so we're getting uh, some new capabilities. 
uh, relative to uh, what we can do on the beef research side, mm -hmm. uh, looking at, at some more uh, forage intake. Uh, we have a, a, a new building that will have the ability to have a classroom in it also and an observation room for looking at, at what we're doing. Uh, we have a new conference center mm -hmm. that's expanded, will hold, hold more people, has breakout rooms so we can do more training and teaching sure. uh, because part of, part of our industry, we still have young people that need to learn. And with all the innovations that are occurring, even us as PhDs, we have to learn too. Yeah. Uh, so training and teaching is a very big part of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have more than just cattle out there. So we've got pigs and horses, have dairy cows. Mm. Uh, and all of those uh, uh, species are getting some updates too. We have a new uh, wean to finish uh, for the uh, pigs. Mm. Uh, we've got a, a dairy heifer barn. Our, our horse folks are getting a new palatability center and expanded uh, exercise physiology area and we even have some backyard chicken coops and things like that. So it's a very exciting time with a lot of investment uh, for animal agriculture in the U.S. through what we're doing. Sounds like a big commitment and it's a great start.